Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I want to talk about February as Heart Health Month and some insights that you may not know about the heart. I'm going to talk about four insights. The first insight is alcohol. Many believe that drinking in moderation confers health benefits to your heart. This could not be further from the truth. The American Public Health Association has declared that alcohol has no health benefits for you. And in fact, alcohol is a clear risk factor for heart disease. Excess drinking is known to result in heart disease, stroke, and high blood pressure. So alcohol should be thought of as a risk factor for heart disease. The second point is that there are disparities in gender and race when it comes to heart disease. Now, although men are more likely to have a heart attack, Women, if they have a heart attack, are more likely to die from that heart attack than men. And that may be because nearly half of women don't experience the classic chest pain when having a heart attack, and thus they may not know that they're having a heart attack, and that may delay their care when they have a heart attack. There are also disparities in race. So Black Americans are more than two times as likely to die of cardiovascular disease when compared to white Americans. So there are definite disparities when it comes to gender and race. The third point is, is that social relations and being social can actually bolster your heart. So social interactions with other people actually decrease stress, anxiety, and depression. And these three things, stress, anxiety, and depression are known to be risk factors for heart disease. So being social and being around others can potentially help your heart. The final thing I want to talk about is coronary calcium CT scans. These are studies that use radiation and computer technology to generate images and pictures of the vessels that supply your heart. And these studies can help predict your risk of heart disease. And although not recommended as a screening tool for the general population, they can be very powerful in assessing your risk for heart disease. So as an example, this image on the left is a normal coronary vessel that has no plaque, no narrowing. You can see that it's opacified very well with contrast and it runs very smoothly and there's no narrowing of this vessel. Contrast that with this image on the right where you see this coronary vessel or this vessel supplying the heart, but there are areas of bright calcium. All these bright areas are calcium and they're narrowing the vessel. So the more narrow the vessel is, the more likely it is that that vessel is blocked and less blood flow may go to the heart. So you can see how this study can quantify how narrowed or blocked your vessel is that's supplying your heart. It can be a very powerful tool to help predict your risk of heart disease. Thank you so much for listening. Please click on the link below in the comments for the Forbes article that discusses all of these issues in more detail. Please subscribe to the MediD page and I'll see you next week for another great public health video.